In this video, I will talk about oils and more specifically, oils that are best for cooking. Cooking requires the use of oils because they help to enhance the flavor of the food being prepared and make the overall process of cooking more manageable. Because there are so many different oils to choose from, it can be challenging to determine which ones are best for use in cooking. There are many different kinds of oils available, including extra virgin olive oil and coconut oil, among others. In this video, we are going to discuss the best 5 oils for cooking, along with the reasons why each one is such a good option. In addition to that, we will investigate which oils are ideal for frying, baking, and grilling. Therefore, regardless of whether you are a novice cook or an experienced chef, you will be able to locate the appropriate oil for your specific requirements. Which oils are used in cooking the most frequently? When it comes to oils used for cooking, there are typically five that are considered to be the most common. Canola oil, extra virgin olive oil, peanut oil, sesame oil, and coconut oil. It's possible that some cooking oils are more appropriate than others for the dish you're preparing, but it all depends on what you're making. If you aren't sure which oil to use, one of these is a great place to begin exploring your options. However, in order to assist you in understanding the differences between them and knowing when to use which, we have compiled a useful list for you. Let's dive in. Canola Oil Canola oil is a type of cooking oil that is derived from a specific variety of rapeseed plant that has been selectively bred to contain a lower amount of erucic acid. Because of this, it is an improved alternative to the traditional rapeseed oil used in cooking. It is a versatile cooking oil that can be used for frying, baking, and any other culinary application you can think of. This oil, like most other common oils, can be obtained for a price that is not prohibitive. Canola oil has no discernible flavor, so it won't alter the flavor of the food you're preparing in any way when it's used in cooking. Olive oil The use of extra virgin olive oil in the kitchen is recommended as it is one of the healthiest cooking oils available. The olive oil that is of the highest quality is usually also the most expensive. Olive oil, particularly extra virgin olive oil, is versatile and useful in a wide variety of contexts. Because extra virgin olive oil contains monounsaturated fat, which is better for your heart than saturated fat, choosing it for a heart-healthy diet is a good idea. On the other hand, due to its low smoke point, it cannot be used in the baking process. Why exactly is olive oil not recommended for use in cooking? Heat easily damages heart-healthy polyphenols in olive oil. Olive oil contains phenolic compounds, which are known to have a high concentration of antioxidant capabilities. The breakdown of these phenols, which function as antioxidants to guard against damage to the heart, is triggered when temperatures get too high. Recent research has shown that the phenols and polyphenols found in extra virgin olive oil, such as hydroxytyrosol and luteolin, are not stable when exposed to heat and break down relatively quickly. After only 5 minutes of heating at 461 degrees Fahrenheit in a container over a flame, one study found that both hydroxytyrosol and luteolin lost 50% of the concentrations they started with. Olive oil is rich in omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, both of which are rendered ineffective when the oil is heated. Omega-3 fatty acids are significant structural components of the cell membranes of tissues throughout the body. Omega-3 fatty acids have been linked to a reduction in the risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Due to their sensitivity to heat, these fatty acids are eliminated during the process of heating olive oil. Inhaling toxic smoke is inevitable when the smoke point is set too low. When heated beyond their smoke point, oils produce smoke that is hazardous to your health. Due to the low smoking point of olive oil, there is a possibility that smoke will be produced during the cooking process. This smoke may contain compounds that are hazardous to human health. It's possible that you are not even conscious of the fact that you are breathing in this hazardous smoke. Peanut Oil Peanut oil is characterized by a high smoking point and is obtained through the pressing of peanuts. Because of this, it is an excellent oil for frying. Additionally, due to the absence of any discernible flavor, it will not impart any flavor to the dish that you are preparing. Because of its high nutrient content, it is an excellent option for individuals who are looking for an oil that is healthy in all aspects. Sesame Oil Sesame oil is the result of pressing sesame seeds to extract their natural oil. Because of its robust, nutty flavor, it works really well in dishes that take their inspiration from Asia. 
In addition to being one of the oils of the highest quality, sesame oil also has a high smoking point. Because of this, it is excellent for cooking over extremely high temperatures. However, this also means that its shelf life is relatively short. In addition to having a high nutrient content, sesame oil is a wonderful oil to use for a variety of purposes. Coconut Oil Coconut oil is obtained by pressing the meat of mature coconuts to extract the oil. Coconut oil consists of 92% saturated fat. That sounds like a lot, but when it comes to cooking, it's a good thing. It contains one of the highest amount of saturated fats of all cooking oils, which makes it very suitable for high temperature cooking. Baking with coconut oil has been shown to provide a number of health benefits. It is rich in lauric acid, which has antimicrobial, antibacterial, and antifungal properties, and it is present in significant quantities. Additionally, as a result of its high smoke point, coconut oil is an excellent choice for use in frying. What kind of oil is ideal for use in baking? Coconut oil is by far the superior oil to use when baking. Due to its high smoke point, coconut oil is an excellent choice for use in the baking industry. Because of its naturally sweet taste, it is an excellent ingredient for use in baked goods. Additionally, coconut oil is a very nutrient-dense oil. Because of this, it is an excellent cooking oil to use for a variety of purposes. Cookies, cakes, muffins, and quick breads all benefit greatly from being baked with coconut oil. Because it has a high point at which it melts, coconut oil can be used as an alternative to shortening in many recipes. Those looking for an alternative to butter may wish to consider substituting coconut oil instead. What kind of oil works best for grilling food? Peanut oil is an excellent choice for use in the grilling process. Due to its high smoking point, peanut oil is an excellent choice for cooking on the barbecue. In addition, it has a taste that is not overpowering and won't alter the flavor of the food. When it comes to grilling chicken, beef, pork, fish, and vegetables, peanut oil is the superior choice. Because it contains a high concentration of nutrients, peanut oil is an excellent choice for use in a variety of culinary applications. Additionally, it is an excellent source of vitamin E, as well as various minerals such as magnesium, copper, and manganese. What kind of oil is ideal for deep frying? In the previous section, we discussed the best oils for baking. However, what about the best oils for frying? Peanut oil is definitely one of the best, if not the best oil for frying at any temperature, including deep frying. Because it has a high smoke point, peanut oil is an excellent choice for use in frying. In addition, it has a taste that is not overpowering and won't alter the flavor of the food. Because it contains a high concentration of nutrients, peanut oil is an excellent choice for use in a variety of culinary applications. Peanut oil produces the crispiest fries, chips, chicken, and fish when used for deep frying. Did you learn something new from this? Please let us know in the comments section.